The federal rules of civil procedure favor allowing parties to easily amend their pleadings, so courts can focus on the real issues a case presents. But those rules aren't completely toothless, as the unfortunate defendant in David v. Crompton and Knowles Corporation discovered. In November of 1969, James David was injured by a shredding machine. He sued Crompton and Knowles, alleging that Crompton designed, manufactured, and sold the machine to his employer. David filed his complaint nearly a year before the statute of limitations on his claim was due to expire, which would have been in November of 1971. The particular machine involved in David's injury was designed, manufactured, and sold by the James Hunter Corporation, which we'll call Hunter, in 1961. Sometime after that, Crompton bought Hunter. In its answer to David's complaint, Crompton stated that it didn't have sufficient knowledge or information to admit or deny David's allegation regarding the machine. Then, in October of 1971, Crompton indicated in its answer to interrogatories that it was responsible for the machine's design, manufacture, and sale. But in June of 1972, Crompton filed a motion to amend its answer to deny this allegation. Crompton claimed that it had only recently discovered that under the terms of its contract of sale with Hunter, Crompton hadn't assumed liability for Hunter's products that were sold before the acquisition. 